Aladdin. At the amazing Rose Hill Community Centre, promoting the best in health and well-being and vitality and community partnership. Your story today will be called Stone Soup. Once upon a time, there was a fox who always went around with his beautiful son, but they were very, very poor. And they went from village to village asking for money to buy food and also for a place where they could have a kip sleep at night. One day, as they are walking through this village in Rose Hill, the young fox said to his father, Dad, I'm hungry and tired, as they say in Rosemary Hill. I'm really hungry, Dad, and tired. Dad turned around and looked at the son and said, Son, don't you worry. I will show you how to make something out of nothing. So, Dad proceeds to walk and finds a stone. He gives it a brush, a blow, and a clean. And he says to his son, son, just watch your father. And he goes to the nearest house and knocks on the door. Well, a young lady comes out and says, how can I help you? And Mr. Fox with his son says, in fact, I think, how can we help you? You see, we are master chefs. We are traveling master chefs. And we have been to the top schools in the whole of the country learning culinary cuisine. We've been to the amazing Michelin five star Gordon Ramsbottom and also Jamie Cod Liver Oil. These are two of the greatest chefs in the whole of the kingdom. Not forgetting Nigella, the school of Nigella lawlessness. Yes, we are fine chefs extraordinaire and we are out here to show you how to make the most delicious soup in the whole world called stone soup. Well, the lady hears this and is in awe. She says, please do come in and show me how you make stone soup. So, Mr. Fox and his son enter into this lady's beautiful mansion. And she guides them to the kitchen where there is a pot and a cooker. Mr. Fox proceeds towards the cooker and the pot and puts the stone in the pot and fills it up with water and turns on the cooker. Well, after about five, 10 minutes, Mr. Fox approaches the pot and takes a sip mm, from the stone soup and says, I think it needs some carrots. So the lady rushes in the other side of the kitchen and chops some carrots and brings it to Mr. Fox who puts the carrots in the pot. A few minutes later, Mr. Fox tastes the soup. Mmm, interesting, but I think it needs some tomatoes. Do you have any tomatoes? He says to the woman. She says, yes. So she rushes off in the garden and picks some organic tomatoes, chops it up and brings it to Mr. Fox who puts it in the pot. Do you have any salt? Well, she runs across the room and gets some salt. He sees a big kitchen. He puts some salt in the pot. Then some garlic. Then a knob of butter. Then some parsley. See? Then some sage. Well, it just goes on. It goes on for about five hours. However, the final ingredient was a stock cube. Do you have a stock cube, he says to the woman. She says, yes. So she rushes to the cupboards, opens the cupboards, 
take out a, po a, a packet of stock cube and hands it to Mr. Fox, who then opens it up and puts it in the pot. After about 20 minutes, I think that's the final ingredient, Mr. Fox takes a sip. Perfect! It is desired, divine! Well, they all sit round the table, Mr. Fox, the lady, and Mr. Fox's son, and they have a buttered roll with it, wholemeal buttered roll with the stone soup. They taste it. They allow the soup to savour in their mouth. All the flavours are burst into all corners of the mouth. The woman looks up and says, it's divine! This is the best soup I've ever tasted, stone soup! Oh! Oh, it's amazing! I've taken down the recipe. It's amazing! Oh! Well, Mr. Fox takes a stone and he thanks the lady. And as he was about to leave with a stone and his son, the lady calls him back and says, but how would I be able to make a special soup without the stone? Well, I can't really give you the stone because it's passed down from generation to generation, family to family. Well, please, says the lady, I'll buy it from you for 10 pounds. Mr. Fox does not look impressed. 20 pounds, he still doesn't look impressed. 40 pounds, 50 pounds, okay, my final offer. 1,000 pounds! An offer Mr. Fox cannot refuse. You can make me an offer I can't refuse, he said. And he takes the money and hands her the stone and leaves with his son. <sighs> the next day, Mr. Fox and his son get up in a luxury bed. <sighs> that was a wonderful night's rest, they said, as they look around in a beautiful five-star hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what lessons can we learn from this wonderful story, Stone Soup? Perhaps one of the lessons is you can always make something out of nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for listening to Storytime with Aladdin. Thank you.